Hey, what's happening, tech fans? Welcome again, once again, to Tech of Tomorrow, where I, or Kiros, will bring you a really cool product to check out and do the overview on. Now, what are we looking at today? Well, today is something really, really unique. This is a product from the people over at Thermaltake, which is their Mecha Prime. That's right, the Mecha G1 Prime is a mechanical keyboard. It has 104 mechanical keys. They're Cherry MX Brown, and they actually have 14 of the keys that these folks feel are the hottest keys in RTS games all painted the hot pink what hot pink hey i didn't do it they did now one thing also about this keyboard is it's only available on newegg nowhere else in the world can you get this thing unless you like get it you know in some like you know black market side do you know like yo benny you got a keyboard yeah i got a keyboard for you right here you know black market style beyond that you're getting it at newegg so anyways right here in the front of the box you can see they got all the guys here Marine King and all these buddies. Now these guys are all pro RTS gamers. You can see all these folks right here. Hopefully the camera is zoomed the camera in so you can see that by now. Now these are all the gamers. They all use and endorse this keyboard. You guys can see it's the Prime. Make a Prime, not to be confused with Optimus Prime. Our over here, it's got a little bit more stuff. It says right here, 50 million keystrokes. So basically, you know, you can like hit all the keys at the same time. Like I said before, Cherry MX Brown switches. Now, a lot of people are gonna go, what's the difference between the different switches? Well, okay, I looked that up today, and basically the Cherry MX Brown switches are ones that don't make any noise whatsoever. There's absolutely really nothing on the back of the box. So with that said, let's move on. All right, folks, we got the box open right here. So real quick, I'll just pop this thing open right here, because this actually has a lot of the stuff. Custom pick keycaps, multimedia keys, to control audio functions. And it also says that you can use these on the fly. I guess that should be normal. USB hubs for installing other USB devices. Gaming speed, eight times quicker. Military grade cables. Thousand hertz polling rate. Gold plated. Brown cherry switches. Like I said before, 50 million keystrokes. And it has a PS2 adapter for N key rollover. Eliminates ghost keys. You guys know what that is. It means you can hit all the keys as many times as you want. And it's not going to freak out. So we'll get past that. Inside the box. Bring it up here. It's all well packed in there. Got the little design there. The challenge of the game. I will go ahead and pop this open. See what all comes in the little thing here. And kind of hard to do there. I wanted to try to make it nice and clean. But uh, it's not working very well there. So let's go ahead and just pop all this stuff out. Here we see the warranty policy, the little book guide. Next up, the Mecca G1 multi-language quick installation guide. That's it for that. So not gonna be much in here now. Okay, we got the little armrest here. Check this out. We'll get that out there. Check out that armrest. All looking Ferrari red like. Set that off the side for a second. Pull the keyboard out, and we'll go ahead and take the box. And we'll throw the cameraman! <gasps> no, we won't. It's hot as hell in here today, and uh, he won't appreciate it if I throw a box down today. He might go crazy on me. So, all right. Let's set the keyboard down first. All right, folks. Let's just start off taking a look at the keyboard. It has 104 normal keys. The color of the thing is red, obviously. We said there was 14 buttons in hot pink. Well, you can see all these little hot pink buttons right there. Now, me personally, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think that's a little bit, you know, uh, well, it's not my color style. Let's just say that. Hot pink is not me. So uh, I don't know about that. I'd like to change those keys out. I'm trying to see if I can get a key to pop off over here. I didn't have all those little key pullers in this one. Usually a lot of the keyboards that we get these days have a little key puller that pops them out. This one didn't come with any extra keys. Now, the Mecha G1 Prime Edition by T Sports designed for Prime's team special request. 104 keys, including the media keys. Now, the keys are 430 millimeters wide and 160 millimeters in the length. The team also demanded that the 14 keys, like we talked about before, are in vibrant pink because they said they're the most in RTS games. You also get instant audio control, pause play, forward, backward, volume, and mute. You also get two USB hubs and audio jacks. We'll get to those right now. Flip the keyboard around right here at the back. You can see right here are the two USB headphone and microphone jacks. Here's the back of the keyboard. The little pop-up switches. 
And here is the military grade cable. I mean, as you guys can see, this cable is pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty dang beefy. I mean, heck. I mean, uh, in fact, I don't even know if I want to take it off there because it's just, it's just so dang thick. But check out the cable. It's insane. It's very well made. Gold plated connectors. For that total end key rollover, you got your PS2 port right here. Pop that back on. Your audio. Your USB, all right there. All right, folks, so there you have it, the Mecha Prime by Thermaltake. Now, I know this thing is going to be a matter of taste. For those who are into the style, this thing's gonna sell like hotcakes, and traditionally, uh, actually incidentally, this thing has been selling very well on Newegg. Stock keeps going out of stock all the time. So if you're interested in getting one of these, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below where you guys can go and check it out if you wanna buy this thing. It's totally programmable. Got the hot pink keys there for you guys into RTS games and want those hot keys and you wanna be able to see them. Hey, it might be a really cool thing. I'm Elric, and we'll see you guys back here on Tekken tomorrow. I'm still a little bit sick. I'm almost getting better, but a uh, few more days, I'll be back to 100%. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Show us that you appreciate us, and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.